Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today we are going to learn how we can run our Gatling tests from Jenkins CI. So this is going to be very easy and very interesting and we are going to see how to set up Jenkins. So I'm going to start from scratch even if you do not know Jenkins or you have never worked with Jenkins you can follow along with me step by step. So we will do Jenkins setup and then we will learn how to create a job in Jenkins. We will add our Gatling command in the Jenkins job and then we will also see how we can use the Jenkins Gatling plugin so that we can uh, see the reports and the trend on our Jenkins CI and we will finally run and validate. So let's get started. Uh, you can follow this on Windows, Mac or operating system or wherever you have your Jenkins even if it's on a Linux system you can follow this and all the notes will be in the description. So let's get started and step number one is we will download and set up Jenkins. So let me go to my system here and I am going to the browser and when you go and say on your browser download Jenkins it will take you to the Jenkins.io let me see where I, yes we have here Jenkins download this is Jenkins.io forward slash download and here if you scroll down you can see we can download Jenkins for different platforms we have Windows, Mac and then Linux and Ubuntu and then at the top you can see a generic java package dot war so I'm going to get this if I click here you can see it is getting downloaded here and this is what I can use so once it is downloaded Jenkins dot war file you can check in your downloads folder so I will go and see in my downloads folder and yes it is here I already have an earlier Jenkins.war file that is why it has given the name uh, it has appended one here uh, let me just rename this uh, older one I will call this as Jenkins2.war file and now this will be Jenkins.war file and once we have downloaded Jenkins.war file we can start Jenkins you can go to the command line and go to the location of the folder where your Jenkins.war file is which is in my case the downloads folder and a shortcut to that is I can just go to this address bar here and say cmd and hit enter and it will start the command line or the command prompt on the same folder this is uh, this works on windows uh, otherwise you can just go to your terminal or your command prompt let me show you I will exit from here and I will manually go and go to my command line if you are on Mac or Linux you can go to terminal and first I will change the location to this downloads folder so I will again go to my downloads folder copy this location and say cd downloads and now I will say so this is the folder where our jenkins.war file is and now I will say java hyphen jar and uh, for running jenkins you should have java on your system so you can always check java space hyphen version and then I can say java-jar and the file name which is jenkins.war if I hit enter it will start jenkins on the default port that is 8080-8080 but if you want you can change the port number just in case uh, port 8080 is already occupied or you want to start on a different port you can say hyphen hyphen http port equals and give the port number let us say 9595 here make sure p is in uppercase and now if I hit enter it will start the Jenkins server so the first time it will do some checks and finally it will start Jenkins and you can also see it gives us an admin password that you can select and copy it will be required for the first time it will also be available here in the initial admin password folder here so once you see this message Jenkins is fully up and running you can go to the browser and say localhost because I have started on my local system and colon the port number so this is 9595 and this will show you the screen to unlock Jenkins here you will have to give the administrator password that we copied from the command line and now I will click on install suggested plugins 
you can skip this step and install the plugins later but as of now I just want to install the suggested plugins so you can see it is now installing the plugins suggested by Jenkins so these are some basic plugins required you can just install them and once this is done we will go and do the next step that is we will create a job on Jenkins so based on the network it may take a minute or so ideally it is very fast so this is the command line where Jenkins is running and here you can see this is installing all these plugins now I will show you step by step from scratch uh, all the process to create a job in Jenkins and everything just in case you already know Jenkins and you are familiar with jobs creation you can directly jump to the section where I show how to add the gatling commands on the Jenkins job so this is for all the beginners who are new to Jenkins you can follow all the steps that I am doing so as of now this is step number one that we are doing download and set up Jenkins step number two will be we will create a new job on Jenkins so once we are done with this plugins we will go to the next step so this is running it is all fine and uh, this this one plugin was not installed which is pipeline if you want you can retry but that is fine I do not need that now so I will just click on continue and we can always get plugins later as well I will show you how so I will just give a username and some password confirm password now this step is optional to create a first admin user even if you do not do it you can still use Jenkins but then you will have to use the admin user along with the password that we had earlier copied so you will have to always uh, you know keep that password with you so just to avoid that I am creating a admin user and give some email and say save and continue and this is fine instance configuration and now we are ready to use Jenkins so I will click on start using Jenkins and this is our Jenkins dashboard so here we will create the project we will create our job so you will see our option here to create a new job we have this option here or I can also click here new item so I'll click here new item and I will call this as uh, Gatling performance test and click on freestyle project and click on ok you can give any name to your project or to the job and now this will take you to our job configuration page now here we have different sections we have general source code management build triggers build environment build and post build actions so in the general section you can give some description about your project and some other options are here if you want to get your project from some repository like git github you can use it here uh, we have build triggers how do you want to trigger this project we have option to schedule the uh, build we can also trigger whenever there is some updates in the source code management or our repository all these options are here we have build environment build and post build actions so we are interested as of now in the build section and here I will say I will go to the build section and this drop down and if you are on Mac or Linux you will select execute shell if you are on Windows you will select execute Windows batch command so as of now I am on Windows so I will say execute Windows batch command now here I can run the same commands that uh, we had run in the earlier session from command line in the earlier session we have learned how to run our Gatling test from maven command line and this was the project we created and here this is the project we created and we learned how can we run our tests from the command line the same commands we can use here and for that there are two options one option is I can just go physically to the project location to the folder and run the same command for example my project that is this project that I am using here if I go to the folder it is here getting demo project so I can just go here 
the same commands that I will use on a command prompt I will first navigate to the project folder so I will say D colon because my project is on the D drive and then I will say CD and go to the project folder and then I will run the commands that is MVN get link colon test and if I want to run a specific uh, test I can say minus D get link dot simulation class and give the location of the package and the class name all this we have learned in the last session so just in case you do not know how to run the gatling test from command line please watch the last session and then come come here so this is this is one way of doing it and it will run fine it will go to this project location go to this folder and run the mvn gatling test this is fine this will run fine but what we want to do is i want to i will say add build step and we have another option invoke top level maven targets so if you want to do this way add a build command you can do this or if you want to say add uh, invoke top level maven targets even this is fine in that case we will just have to give the maven lifecycle command which is gatling test of course i can say minus t and gatling simulation class to run a specific class or a specific script but as of now i will try with gatling test now if you are doing this way if you are saying invoke top level maven targets in that case the project folder location this we will have to mention in the general section and we will have to click on advance and say use custom workspace and here we will have to mention this directory of the project root folder in case we want to go this way so let me try this and i will just close and uh, remove this part execute windows batch command apply and save and then we have this option here build now so i will click on build now and it will start the first build you can see the first build of this job if you click on this bar this progress bar it will take you to the console output you can also go from go to console output from here and you can see it is running our basic simulation so it will run both our simulation scripts that we have in our project that is basic simulation and basic simulation 2 and then we will see that the job is successful if everything runs fine so this is how we have done it you can add the commands in the build section you can say execute windows batch command if you are on windows or execute shell if you are on mac or linux operating system and then you can uh, give the uh, navigate or change directory to your project folder and then give the same commands that we have learned in the last session that is the mvn commands or you can say invoke maven targets and then you can just give the maven lifecycle command and then also mention the project folder in the workspace like i have done here so you can see this is fine this says finished success everything is fine if i go back to my project you can see one build and if i go to the dashboard of jenkins you can see now this is my project this is my job the last success and the last failure the last duration i can also run directly from here and you can see everything is fine here so we are able to run our test now we can also add a gatling plugin so if i go to my jenkins dashboard and go to manage jenkins and here if i go to manage plugins and go to available so here you will see four sections updates will show you all the updates available in case for your installed plugins all your installed plugins will be here advanced is a section where you can add a plugin using a plugins file and available plugins will show you all the plugins which are available and can be added to your jenkins so here i will go to available section and i will search for gatling and we have got two options gatling and gatling check let me first check gatling i will say install without restart and let me also show you this is the plugin jenkins gatling plugin so this is the page the plugins page the gatling plugins page you can see how to use it and uh, this is how you will get you will get the trend report the mean response time trend for all the builds so for all the builds of your job you will see how is your test performing so once it is installed 
I will go back to my project. I'll say back to dashboard and go back to my Gatling performance test job and I will again go to the configure page. Now here I will go to post build actions and here I will say in post build actions you can see track Gatling load simulation and this you will get this option you will get only after adding the Gatling plugin and that's it you just have to add it and enable it and I will say apply and save and I will run my job again so this will be the second run of this job so you can see the second run of this job if I go to my Den uh, Jenkins dashboard you can see this is running here so I can go back and check the console output so this is running fine and after this is executed we will also get the trend report now on Jenkins because we have added the plugin so it is starting the basic simulation 2 as of now so this is started let us just wait for this simulation to get over and then we will check and yes this is all done if I now go back to my project you can now see we have got a mean response time trend graph here and you can see because we started uh, because we added the plugin after the first execution therefore it is starting with execution number or build number 2 and as of now this shows us 5 milliseconds for uh, both of these and let me run it one more time so that you can see some more data so generally you will see something like this once you have multiple runs of your job you will see something like this so let me run one more time and this is the third execution of this job now oh, one more question that you may have is as of now we are running the project we are running Jenkins on our local system where we have our Gatling project everything is on the local system we are using the local project folder and everything is within our system so what happens in real time Jenkins is generally located on a on a Linux server on a remote system and there we get our project from our repositories like github repositories or bitbucket I will show you that also uh, for now let us check this and this is done if I go back to my project page and now yes you can see this is how it looks like so this is the blue line is for basic simulation the yellow line is for basic simulation 2 and you can now see for the second build this was the time for the third build we have these times 5 seconds and 6 milliseconds and you can also see here we have the Gatling section if I go here you can see all these performance trends so we have mean response time 95th percentile response time percentage of request all this you can see here and you can also see all this details here you can always download this as a zip and you can also check these so we have now got all our reports and trend as well for our job so you can also do like this and we have already checked we have ran and validated now in the next session I will also show you how you can get your project how you can put your project on a repository like github and then how you can clone the project in your Jenkins from anywhere so this Jenkins can be running on any remote system any Linux system we will see how we can get our project and run so that we are not dependent on our local project and we are not dependent on our local system so I will show you that in the next session and I hope this was very useful for you please do some hands on if you have any doubts you can let me know and I will try to help you as soon as I can please share your knowledge with everyone I will see you in the next session thank you for watching and never stop learning